Hello guys, welcome to the third session of Free Art Tools uh, on STM32 and today I'll be looking at software timers and just like the name suggests uh, these timers are implemented with software and uh, you can use these two timers uh, in two modes uh, you can configure them as one short timer uh, means that will not be executed once and you can use, also use them as uh, repeat timers whereby you can uh, set the auto reload uh, so that uh, you can have that task being called after uh, the set time that uh, you've uh, passed in the uh, timer uh, function so I'll go ahead and uh, create a new project that will uh, blink this LED uh, using timer and the first uh, session of this video I'll have to implement uh, one short timer so uh, something about one short timer is that it can be used when you wish to only execute a short piece of code after a fixed delay uh, that is without blocking the calling code uh, by using a uh, vtask delay uh, you can also to set up these timers you have to uh, create a callback function uh, that must be specified and a timer created so in this session you're going to learn one how to create a timer then how to implement a one shot timer and how to implement uh, a repeat timer so I'll create a new uh, project and uh, I'll be using the same board 401RE you can initialize uh, with the default mode so I'll go ahead and uh, clear the pinouts and I'm only using one LED for this uh, session so it is connected to the uh, GPIO or port A that is pin PA5 so this is the green LED and then I go to system call under RCC enable the external ceramic resonator then in RCS select another time base apart from cystic and then uh, finally you go to middleware then in free tools uh, select uh, version 1 and uh, there's something else that you're going to configure here when you scroll down you'll find a uh, software timer definition you are going to enable this so if you don't enable that uh, your code will not run to uh, bring up so many errors so um, then finally uh, just like the other uh, free r2 sessions these this uh, task which is always created by default so we are not going to use it but uh, I'm going to rename it uh, I just call it task one that's okay and then I go to call configuration or select the HS uh, HSE and then can set this club to maximum frequency we finally go to project manager and uh, give my project a name of uh, free artos uh, timers so I'll be using MDK arm or oh, that is Kelly vision then generate code so I'll go ahead and open project I'll then go to application <clears throat> user code open the main.c and I'm going to run these uh, to build the code so that 
uh, the uh, important functions can be available to us then uh, to create a timer I'll go to a user code begin private variable and I'll have uh, a variable of timer uh, handle underscore t and I'll call it one shot uh, handle and then I'll go ahead and create uh, this timer in user code begin r2 timers and uh, we shall have uh, x timer create and uh, this takes uh, several parameters the first one is the just a label you can give it any name but I'll just call it one short timer then the second parameter is the tick period uh, you can see that you have the timer period in ticks so we can have uh, one second and then uh, this is our uh, to set the auto reload since it is one short timer we are not going to auto reload uh, the timer so it will only run once so I just pass pd force then uh, the other one is the timer ID this is a unique ID for the timer I'll pass it now and then finally we have the callback function that will be called by uh, this timer so I'll just uh, call it one shot function and uh, I'm going to going to define uh, a prototype here by that name and uh, this function takes uh, a parameter of timer handle and then next time then I'm going to copy this and uh, define it in user code begin for and now uh, what I'm going to do here I just going to turn high to turn the uh, GPIO pin a high so that the LED can go on so our GPIO right pin and uh, we have a green LED port then we have the green LED pin and then we have to set this high so gpio pin set uh, that's it and uh, finally after we create the timer we are going to check whether we have uh, created it successfully so we just use a set parameter then we pass the handle and check whether it's not equals to null. If it is not equals to null, that means uh, it was uh, created successfully. So then from there, uh, we only have to start the timer. X timer start, and uh, we pass the handle, and uh, then uh, comma zero. So uh, from there, uh, let's view the code. Then let's uh, download the code to our board. But before that, I'll go to uh, options for target. So go to settings and uh, select that. Then load the code to our board. You can see that uh, the LED will take around one second before it goes on so if I reset 
and see it is ticking around one second then uh, you notice that the LED is just on uh, even if we use uh, LGPIO toggle pin and then it only takes two parameters here so I'm going to build this and uh, load the code to our board you can see it only goes on uh, then uh, to implement uh, repeat timers I just uh, go ahead and uh, you can just come here and uh, change this PD force uh, to PD true then uh, true then from there we shall have this uh, repeat function repeat function and then I'll name my uh, callback function uh, and also here in uh, the definition then uh, from there you just have uh, to change the handle to repeat handle and these two repeat handle so you notice that uh, you have to replace these everywhere uh, you have passed pd true uh, to enable auto reload then you'll call this function after every one second so you'll see that the green led will start toggling so let's build the code then load the code to our board and you can see that the LED is now toggling by the help of software timers so uh, thank you guys for following up with me and I hope that uh, each R2 session that you're learning something uh, these are the more the basic things that you should know uh, in a free r and uh, in the next tutorial I'll cover uh, mutex so mutexes are used uh, when you have a shared resource so uh, kindly don't forget to uh, like share and even subscribe so I'll see you in the next session and if you have any question kindly leave it in the comment section bye